Get our minds and our, our our minds and hearts ready and focused for today's Jesus. prayer. Yes. And as I was thinking earlier, I was thinking about um, how the Lord preparation, the word preparation, Amen. and how the Lord want us to prepare for different things in our life so that we won't be stressed, we won't be discouraged, and that we can also just be ahead of things Amen. when it comes to the plots the plans and the schemes of the enemy. Amen. So when I think of preparation, Joshua 1, 9, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And so when we think about that, we think about how God, when he prepares us, he is always going to be with us no matter what. Amen. Amen. Even through the trials, through the tribulations, through the storms, He is with us. So if He is with us, we are always on track. If He is with us, we can continue to move forward and not to go backward. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you, Father, for being Lord of Lords. We thank you, Father, for being King of Kings. We just thank you, Father, for the preparation and the techniques and the tools and the strategies that you are just giving us, Father, so that we can be prepared, Father. We ask you, Father, to prepare our minds. We ask you, Father, to prepare our very hearts. We ask you, Father, to prepare our very spirits so that we can do your will, that we can do your ways, Father. And as we are preparing, Father, help us to have a mindset, Father, and the willingness to do your will, the willingness to do your ways, Father. Have your way, Father, in us, Father, so that we can have pure minds and pure hearts so that we can go forth, Father, and to go forth in the right manner. Yes. We thank you, Father, that you are just uh, turning it around for us, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are turning it around so that we can do the right things, Father. We ask you, Father, for just clarity and clarity to do those things, Father. Open up our minds, Father, and in, in it, Father, in the clarity. Give us the wisdom to do the things, Father, so that we won't be going on our own accord, but we will be going on your accord, Father, first and foremost, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are giving us direction, Father, as well. Help to give us direction not only in our lives, Father, but we also ask, ask you to give us direction on what you want us to do, Father. How do you want us to prepare for things, Father? How do you want us to go about these things? And how to go about it in the right manner and in the right spirit, Father. Help to continue to abide in us, Father. And in the preparation, we are also asking you to just prepare us, Father, for just the church, Father. Help us and have your way in the preparation. How do you want us to go about those things? For the church, Father. For your people, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are guiding light for us, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are just giving us strength, Father. Strength to endure so that when we will, when we are preparing, Father, that we are preparing, Father, and we prepare well, and that we are running the race well. We thank you that you are just continuing to be with us. We thank you, Father, that you continue to guide us. We thank you, Father, that you are continuing to lead us and to just lead us well. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And as we continue in prayer on the theme around preparation, uh, God, we thank you today because even as we prepare, we then are required to come and seek your face. So God, we ask that you would help us to seek you. Um, even as the as the writer said, Lord, check my heart. I'm paraphrasing. And search my heart. If there be any wicked way in it, then show us. Because we want to walk in the way everlasting. So Father, we ask that you would reveal us to ourselves. That you would help us to know if there are the things that we need to bring to you. Help us to know, Lord God, if there are some areas in our lives that that 
we need to release. Father, help us to be prepared for what our next is. And that requires us to be willing to, to, to be a sacrifice, a living sacrifice. Father, help us to put aside our own personal agendas so that we can walk in your agenda. Father, help us to have an ear to hear so that we can hear what you are speaking to us individually, but also what you are speaking to us as a church. Father, if there are some areas in our lives where we need to repent, then Father, we ask you to reveal them to us. Help us so that we can come before you and that we can repent so that we can be who you've called for us to be. Father, we ask, Lord God, even as you prepare us, prepare us for every area of our lives. Prepare us financially, Lord. Help us to be good stewards over the funds that you give us. For those that need work or uh, an increase in their finances, Lord, I ask you to give them the strategies and the help they need so that they can see that increase. But then, Father, help them to steward it well. Father, we ask that you would help us so that we're not frivolous with our money, that we're not, not mismanaging our money, but that we're doing what you've called for us to do so that what that way we're preparing ourselves financially to walk in the ways that you have called for us to do lord as we continue to ask you to help us in preparation lord prepare prepare us um, sometimes we might need to help uh, preparing ourselves educational wise help us to read and to study and to learn the things that we need to learn and study so that we're prepared for the development of our businesses, for the, the increase on our job, the promotion. So, Father, help us to know how to prepare ourselves for the next, even if it's educational-wise. Father, help us to prepare ourselves in our health so that we're coming and doing what you call for us to do so that we can be as healthy as we can so that when you call for us to come forward and do some things, whether it's in the church or even in our own lives, we have the physical stamina to be able to stand and to do what you've called for us to do. So, Father, we're just asking you to show us every area of our life. Prepare us emotionally, Lord God. Help us to let go of those things from the past that have kept us in bondage. We want to learn to live right now. Uh, we can use what we've gone through as things to help us and to help us in terms of uh, the lessons from it, but we don't want to keep living in the past. So help us, Lord God, to let go of those things emotionally. Lord God, help us to prepare spiritually. Uh, are we lukewarm or are we hot? So, Father, you don't. You say you if you're lukewarm, you spit us out. We don't want to be cold. We want to be hot. We don't want to be lukewarm either. We want to be all in for you. So, Father, help us to come and to make those commitments and, and to dedicate ourselves to what it is that you have called for us in our lives. God, we ask you to prepare our souls, Lord God, for the changes, for the shifts, for the increase, Lord God, even in preparing us so that we are ready to come into your next. We all want to go to the next level, but there's some preparation that must go with that. So, Father, we're asking you to help us. Lord God, we're asking you to prepare our ears to hear. Uh, Lord God, let us not be so distracted with everything around us or frustrated with everything around us that we miss hearing your instruction. Because, Father, I know when we come and seek your face, your promise is that you will answer us. And, God, we just trust that that as we seek you, as we seek you, you will give us the answer that we need. So, Father, we thank you for the strategies that you're releasing over our lives for our next. Father, we ask you to even prepare us as intercessors. How do we pray? Uh, your disciples said, Lord, teach us how to pray. So, Father, we ask you to teach us how to pray. We don't want to just pray and hope we hit the target. We want to pray with precision. We want to pray with accuracy. We want to pray in the spirit. We want to pray by your will. We want to pray according to what you are calling to us to pray for and know that we can pray and see that thing come to pass. So, Father, we say thank you for preparing us as your intercessors. Give us that burden for prayer. Give us that desire to want to pray so that we're not just praying selfishly for gimme, 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 but we're praying, Lord, that you would change some things. Because, Lord, even in our preparation time, some of that is going to happen by way of prayer. That even as we're praying for our next, you're preparing us in that place of prayer so that we can pray and trust and then hear what you say so then we can pray what we hear. So, Father, we say thank you. So, Lord, I just ask you to prepare us as a church, even for our next, for our next. Well, God, we're not going to be here forever. We thank you for what you've done in this space. But, Father, we thank you for the next. That means prepare us financially so that the people are givers, so that financially it won't be a burden when we move to our next. Prepare the hearts of the people to even invite in and come in and to seek. Uh, so, Father, we're thanking you for all that you are doing. Now, Lord God, we ask you to prepare us now as 
as we get ready for the morning service. Prepare our hearts not to be so focused out there, but that we focus inward into the house, into your spirit, so that we receive what you have for us in the worship. We receive what you have for us in the message. We receive what you have for us in the prayer and the ministry. And so, Father, we just ask you to prepare this atmosphere to be charged by your spirit, to be filled with your presence. Let the heaviness of the glory just fill this place, Lord God, so that even those that are in, it don't matter if it's not filled with people, but fill it with yourself. And God, we just give you the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And to continue in prayer, Lord, I pray as you as you prepare us, Lord, that you give us wisdom on, on when we need to move. Lord, we are preparing to move. We're preparing to go into our next. We're preparing to take over what you have ordained for us to take over territory. Uh, and so in that preparation, Lord, I pray that you let us know when it's time for us to rest and when it's time for us to go. When is it time for us to move? And when it's time for us to, to, um, to stay. In, in, in these preparation times, Lord, I just pray that you would just pour wisdom into our hearts and into our minds so that we can understand more clearly who it is we need to connect with even as we go into the next phase of whatever it is, either our educational journey, our, our professional journey, our familial journey, our community journeys, wherever it is that you are sending us, Lord, I pray that you give us wisdom in the preparation of who will be with us and what we need to do with them, Lord. We know that we don't do anything of our own. We need your insight. We need your wisdom. We need your understanding. And we need your, your uh, ability, the one that empowers us to move forward. At the same time, we recognize that you place people in our lives, people that have insight, people that have information, people that have resources, people that have what it is that we need together to work forward and have a collective impact wherever that is, a collective impact in our schools, a collective impact in our professional lives, a collective impact in the, in the, um, in the community, a collective impact even in our own family, Lord, as we are preparing and understanding what it is our next, how we are to be those bridge builders, how we are to be those peacemakers, how we are to be the ones that, that help us understand that there's a better way of life for those that are struggling out here. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that you would continue to draw us together in unity. Continue to draw us together in unity so that we can elevate love. We can elevate justice. We can elevate compassion for individuals. We can elevate what it is that is necessary for us to work together to reflect in, on, on earth how it is in heaven. Lord, we want to have a strong relationship just like you have with your son Jesus and the Holy Spirit. We want to be part of that kingdom work right here on earth while you give us breath in our lungs. And today is a day that I pray that we have wisdom in the preparation so that we know where to go, that we know where to go, and we know who to go with. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. We'll be back at 930.